Maris from Zero Waste Trash Talk with Stephanie Baker from KW Plastics. We specifically came here today to learn more about you guys because we hear that you're doing amazing things in Alabama. Right. Well, we seem to think so. Yeah. We uh, are the world's largest plastics recycler. We are headquartered in Troy, Alabama, which is small town Alabama, but we are literally bringing in truckloads of high density polyethylene and polypropylene from throughout continental North America, even crossing the borders to get it to our facility in Troy, Alabama for reprocessing. Wow, and that's crazy that we have that you have to go that far to get it. Absolutely. Because I feel like there's a lot here at home. So there absolutely is a lot right here at home. Um, unfortunately, we are putting so much of that in landfills. We're paying to put it in landfills. Do you take all across the board plastics? Like no, we really uh, focus on two types of plastics. So high density polyethylene. This is primarily going to be. Uh, milk jugs, detergent bottles, shampoo bottles. Mm -hmm. A lot of curbside programs re refer to these as the number two plastics. Number two. Right, and then polypropylene, which again is identified uh, with number five plastics. But this is a wide variety of items that historically have not always had a domestic home for recycling. Okay. Uh, things like butter tubs and lids, the yogurt cups, takeout trays, stadium cups. Um, so polypropylene, post-consumer plastics. So we're talking about Nashville specific, yeah. getting our systems up to par to get to you. Yes. What does that look so, like? So I'm gonna give you the bad news first. Okay. I just <laughs> actually stepped back in our booth. I know, but, but bad news, we're gonna follow that up with good news. I just okay. stepped back in my booth and talked with my guys and said, hey, who are we buying plastic bills from in Nashville? And they all collectively were, had this like look of like confusion on their face because <laughs> Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're getting a steady stream of plastics from Nashville, which is insane. Like, yeah. you guys wash your hair, you're drinking milk, you've got yeah. yogurt containers at home, we do. right? So, it's been a huge problem. Uh, your city um, has your elected officials, and those that are over your environmental services, there's always a couple of different names for what that could be, but waste services, environmental services, mm -hmm. basically the team that works for the city that negotiates your waste hauling contract. So, they are the ones who on behalf of your their constituents, on behalf of your citizens, are the one that are making sure our garbage truck is coming to your home. Mm -hmm. um, and they have the ability to work with the waste hauling companies to what does it look like for recycling trucks to go to the home? What should we be putting into those recycling trucks? So those are contracts that are negotiated. Um, some, anywhere from three to five years. Mm -hmm. So it could be perhaps that they're waiting on the next negotiation period. Um, but as citizens, you can reach out and let City Hall know that recycling is important to you. Um, for a long time, I think that elected officials have considered recycling to be a quality of life issue. And we know when budgets are cut, one of the first things that gets yes. to be, you know, yes. those are those quality, non-essential type items. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine though, your elected officials would never consider cutting out access to trash pickup at your home, right? right? So it's a cultural shift. We have to consider yep. recycling. Um, there is a price tag that is associated with every single container that goes into that recycling bin. So you have to start considering this, again, looking at this from an economic scale and not just something that's nice to do, it's the right, right thing to do. Absolutely. Um, there really is an economic driver that's behind there and um, they need to hear from citizens that this is important yeah. to them reaching out to our local Absolutely. leaders. Let City Hall know <laughs> that recycling is important. Um, they also need to, to know an assurance that people will participate in this. If it's important to right. them, they want to hear people are going to participate because that's the only way that you can have a successful program. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, media that's out there, a lot of speculation that plastics don't have domestic markets. And that simply is not true. I mean, we're the world's largest, we're located, we're your neighbors, yeah. we're just right down 65 yes. from you. And if we are going through Nashville every single day, picking up bales and bales of plastics, there's no reason that we shouldn't be getting it from right here in the heart of your city. And you hear a lot of gossip all the time. People yeah. are like, it's not getting recycled, why should I recycle? Yeah. So, I mean, it would be nice to have more access to that, to yep. know more upfront what kind of information, like as a community member, what do I need to do? Sure. Where is it going? Do yep. I And do I know for sure is it going there and is it actually being recycled? Communities have got to have open access and they have to have an educated public. So people know what to recycle, where to recycle, how to recycle. And that mm -hmm. we rely a whole lot on our MRFs to be able to do that. 
And sometimes that's not what MRFs are gifted at doing is yeah. communication, right? Mm -hmm. um, they are responsible for bringing in a lot of material and get it sorted and getting it to, to places like us, to their markets. Okay. So I think anything that we can do, like you guys, to educate the public about how to recycle, um, I think that yeah. a huge challenge, <laughs> there's a lot of misconceptions right now out there. I mean, let's be honest, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that hate plastics right now. Yes. And who who couldn't after seeing some of the images that we have seen, right. particularly with our ocean plastics. Yes. But we believe for plastics to be sustainable, they must be recyclable. Yes. And in order for them to be recyclable, people have to have access to be able to recycle those plastics. Mm -hmm. um, but plastics is really, it's, it's here to stay. Um, we have seen amazing technology and innovation that Plastics is providing us and being able to keep uh, us safer, our food more protected. Okay. Um, when you start looking at plastics in our world, we can't just get rid of it. But we can do a much better job of ensuring that it is being recycled. Yeah.